Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, we are a group who adopted the, 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 the name Food Solutions. And this is because we are looking at uh, agricultural problems. Specifically in Africa, we have quite a number of challenges uh, with regard to subsistence farming. People only grow enough for consumption. I want, I'd like to begin with these two quotes. The first one is, uh, was given by William Pitt, and I'll, I'll quickly read it for you. Trade increases the wealth and glory of a country, but it's real, but it's real, but it's real strength and stamina to be looked for among the cultivators of the land. The second one is rather long, but uh, it's, it's good. I kind of like it. So I'll read it for you again. There, are, there seem to be but three ways for a nation to acquire wealth. The first is by war as the Romans did in plundering their conquered, their conquered neighbors. This is robbery. The second by commerce, which is generally cheating. That's a joke. So, the third by agriculture, the only honest way wherein man receives a real increase of seed through thrown into the ground in a kind of continual miracle wrought by the hand of God in his favor as a reward for his innocent life and in his virtuous industry. Franklin Benjamin. Now, we have identified uh, a place in Congo Brazzaville within Af Africa by the name of Yamba, it's a village Yamba. And we've, we've, seen, we've seen that uh, subsistence farm farmers are facing a lot of challenges. Uh, the, the first one is they lack uh, farm inputs. They, they, they do not have sufficient money to buy certified seed, fertilizers, and even farming equipment. So uh, we also have got an example of the man here in his field. He depends entirely on his strength. What if he's not capable? Maybe at some point he's not feeling too well to cultivate. It's really a challenge. <laughs> Uh, 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 as compared to that, we also, as compared to that, we have, uh, in, in the modern world, we have mechanized uh, commercial farming. Another challenge is lack of proper farming knowledge. Farmers do not have the education to, uh, to in order to plow and increase their crop yield. We also, identified that they lack access to technology, like I said earlier on, the farming equipment that would enable, him, enable them to increase their crop yield. They are far from, many subsistence farmers li live in rural areas, and they are quite miles away from the main cities where they could find ready market for their farm produce. We also have challenges like uh, uh, an even run and even uh, rain patterns, as well as, okay, it's really, okay. Okay, so now we identified these problems and we want to provide a solution as food solutions. We, we, uh, we realized that we could help these farmers revamp their farming activities by uh, supplying them with farming inputs so that they can increase their crop production, as well as uh, supply, uh, t taking this food, their farm produce, to the cities where we can sell them at a higher price and make profit. Now, I would, I would like to stress from the outset that this is the, the project that we intend to, to, to go into, and mainly we want to provide those farmers with the ability to, to, 
to increase their crop yield. So we are actually giving them the, the inputs ourselves, the resources ourselves. Could you? Okay. So uh, the other, the, when you go to the part of the project where we talk about the, the, the costs, we would like to solicit for funding from uh, NGOs, uh, well-wishers, uh, 